Hey everybody, my name is Chris. Welcome to Casual Fragrance with my good friend Steven. Hey everyone. So if you know about Steven's channel, um, he talks about fragrances like I do on YouTube. Has amazing fan base as subscribers. He talks about niche fragrances, designer fragrances, indie fragrances, and just let you learn about fragrances if you're new to the game. So I'll leave his YouTube channel down below. Definitely click Thank the subscribe you. button. You'll learn a whole lot about new fragrances that you never even heard of before. So very, a lot of good information to understand fragrances. From the house of Christian Dior, it's my number one favorite designer brand. You guys know it by now after almost four years of YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> this is called From the House of Christian Dior. This is Eden Rock. Mm -hmm. So in this video here, we're gonna talk about just how I feel about first impression. I let you know, I worn it maybe once or twice, but I'm gonna have a full review when I get a bottle. But nevertheless, Steve and I are gonna go over our opinions about it and let you know if it's worth trying out or buying it or maybe just sampling it. A little sample, but the full bottle goes for 250 for 125 mil, or you can get double size that. Um, it's about uh, $350. The prices of Chanel had, I mean, the prices of Dior had went up uh, $30 more. Wow. So it's about, you know, it is what it is. I'm go over a note breakdown. And this here, I have it here on my phone. And we, uh, Steven smelled it a couple of days ago, matter of fact. That's and right. um, yeah, so we have citrus fruits, jasmine, sea salty notes, mineral notes. And what's the last one? That here? Aleppo pine. So for me, it's very, it has a freshness to it and a fruitiness, but more of a sea saltiness. Like it reminds me of going mm -hmm. to the shore, hanging out by the boardwalk. It gives you that spring and summer vibe. And this is something I like to, I really enjoy wearing it. But there are some issues I'll go later in the video why you might want to be careful before you pull the trigger on a $250 bottle. But <laughs> <laughs> I do like it and very fresh. It does have that sea salty feel where you're like, oh man, like, I smell like I'm near the ocean or I want to be near the ocean, especially with the times in the world now, you just want to get away and it just smells nice. I think Chris is right. I think it kind of reminds you of being on vacation of like a tropical getaway. You're, you know, in a paradise like location. Maybe you're in the Mediterranean or you're in the Caribbean. So this one was actually inspired by the luxury hotels found in the French Riviera known as the Hotel du Cap Eden Rock. And so this one is about, you know, basking in the sun and vacationing and kind of giving off like this very, very faint, salty suntan lotion vibe or like sun-kissed skin. And like Chris said, like that salty element really pops in this fragrance. There's definitely this salty mineral accord coming through. And perhaps in the first 20 to 30 minutes, I get more of that than I do the coconut. The coconut is in there. Uh, there's something lactonic in there that I think is very uh, tropical leaning and so that that kind of gives it that vacation vibe. Um, I don't get so much of the pine right Yeah, I don't away. pick that up neither. It doesn't smell green to me necessarily, but I do get the cleanliness of the jasmine, but I get more coconut than jasmine. I, I really do like that. I think it's perfect for just that spring and summer. And you know, a lot of fragrances are really heavy. Now, when I wore this yesterday, it's very nice. It doesn't project very loudly, mm -hmm. but it does stay on my skin. And I was, I was at least about eight hours into my day and it was still on my skin where I could just lift oh, wow. up and just smell it. So it's nice where it does last. So if you're looking for a long lasting like summer scent, it's perfect, but it doesn't project loudly. So people have to get close to you to catch whiffs of it. But the people that got close to me, they said they really enjoy wearing this. They really enjoy smelling off of me. Like, oh, I never smelled that before. So, mm. you know, it will get you comments, but people gotta get closer to you to smell it. Uh, my girlfriend likes it. Um, she's not in love with it, but like I said, she only wore it one time, like yesterday when I wore it. So sometimes you gotta wear a fragrance a few times. Even smell it. And I think you said your wife liked this one, right? I'm yeah, saying. so my wife loves anything with coconut. <laughs> <laughs> so everything from like Harajuku Lovers G to like this one, um, Rue 21 fragrance, if I'm not mistaken. But anyway, so she doesn't like gourmand coconut fragrances. Ooh. This is along her style. Something very bright and salty. I also wanted to mention that I don't get a whole lot of citrus from this one. Maybe in like the first five minutes, but it's kind of hard to tell what kind of citrus is in there. Mm -hmm. It, it's really more about that salty coconut, but my wife loves this one and I actually quite like it too. I think this is something that you might wanna to go to a Chanel boutique and maybe spray on your skin, or I'll leave links down below where I got my sample from eBay and then sometimes in the Facebook group, I'll leave down below, they do have like splits and stuff. We can try it out first because $250 is a lot of money, especially if you don't know if you like it or not, because when you buy a fragrance like that, if you're gonna to try to resell it, you might lose some money. So definitely if spray it first, don't blind buy it because $250 is a lot of money to blind buy and you may not like it. I think if you like our type of taste, I think you might like the fragrance, but I don't want to recommend you to go out and buy it because that's a lot of money, 250 
you know, yeah. for, <laughs> for 125 mil. <laughs> I think if you're familiar with a lot of the other Dior fragrances, like Feb Delicious and maybe Mitza and maybe some of the darker, you know, Ombre Nui being another one, I think this one is going to be a little bit different from that. Uh, however, it is a deviation from a lot of like the rose-based fragrances that we've been seeing, like Sakura and, you know, some of the other roses. So I think you should definitely check this one out. But like Chris said, it is quite on the expensive side. So probably not something that I would recommend blind buying. Thank goodness you brought it. So, you, you know, you gave me the opportunity to sample it because I am the type of person to blind buy. But uh, now I, I think I'm going to think it through. One thing that I would like to compliment them on is the timing of the release. Yeah. And so, you know, it came out just in time for the hotter weather. Um, I always like when they do that. I think they did something similar with Tabac Color, uh, which was released a few months ago. So, yeah, I think perfect time to release this one. Yeah, I feel the same way. It's perfect to wear the warmer months to come up and you're gonna feel nice wearing this and it's not a heavy fragrance where like it could be sticky or coin for this type of weather. Right. It's nice, it's smoothing. You can wear it maybe two or three sprays and you're gonna feel okay and people are not gonna be like, oh my God, this person has too much fragrance on. It's just nice, it's smooth and I think you're gonna really enjoy this if you like that summer type of feel in a fragrance. I think right. you're gonna like this one. I'll leave the website down below too where you can check it out at the Dior website and I do have a link where you can type in your zip code or area and they can show you where the nearest boutique is that so you can try it out firsthand you know what I mean but at the end of the day I like it I think I'm probably gonna buy a bottle not today but <laughs> in a couple weeks when I get a couple paychecks um, but I think it's something that I think I'm gonna buy and enjoy it um, so do you think you're gonna pick this one up for your wife or you're not sure so I just bought like two fragrances for my wife and she's still enjoying her Anisio Musk therapy. Oh, nice. So um, if I do buy it it'll probably be like in a month or two but Today's Mother's Day, maybe we'll go to the mall or something, so you never know what might happen, right? <laughs> she, she can be pretty impulsive. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, for watching another video, I'd like to thank Steve for being back on the channel. Oh, my pleasure. I really appreciate it. So if you like this type of content, I hope you consider liking the video, clicking that red subscribe button for more content, and click the bell icon so you're notified of future videos and giveaways. I'm going to leave Steven's channel down below. Definitely click that subscribe button, thank and you. make sure you click the bell icon so he can notify you with more videos and giveaways, too. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Bye.